from an Islamic perspective, I don't think that you'll find uh, a jurist who will differ with the fact that that is an operation which is legitimate for people in Chechnya and indeed people in Russia at the present time. They're facing a war, they're facing persecution, their brethren are being murdered, their houses are being taken from them. And uh, you know, in this situation of crisis, they must fight back. There's no Islamic alternative for them. And they see the Russian people supporting their government, not taking measures to stop the atrocities, and hence a direct consequence of that is what has taken place uh, in Moscow. And indeed, uh, you know, uh, one can only see the situation uh, becoming more grave should the atrocities continue and the forces remain in Chechnya. The hostage situation in Moscow must be looked at in light of events post September the 11th. Uh, uh, President Putin has come out in full support of the so-called war against terrorism. Muslims everywhere see that as an attack against Islam and Muslims, and that is manifest in the attack on Afghanistan and the increased hostilities in Chechnya over the last year, what has taken place in Kashmir and in Palestine. People, people have come out openly in support of a war against Muslims, and of course those very leaders, Putin and Bush and Blair included, have said that their own uh, wars are being fought against terrorism. Obviously, the Muslims don't see it like that.